This is Twit. Safe browsing has crossed over from something used only by people donning tinfoil hats over to the mainstream, and most people seem to understand the power of their data and the potential for its abuse if they don't protect themselves. The privacy-focused search engine called DuckDuckGo has long been a pioneer in offering a completely anonymous and untracked web search experience. And the company just updated their apps and extensions for pretty much all platforms and that they'd expanded on their feature set inside of these apps in ways that will further protect you from all the bad stuff. So let's take a look at the updated Android app to see what's on offer. The app itself is super straightforward. It's about as simple as it gets, actually. It's protected. It's a safe browsing environment, as you see here. There's, you just enter the name or the URL uh, that you want to search in the search field, and then you hit go. And that's what DuckDuckGo has always provided in their app. Now, though, when you click through to a site within the app, up next to the URL bar is listed a letter grade. That gives you a quick glance at the security grade that they've given to a particular site. So you can click that letter, actually, and that's going to show a relatively comprehensive rundown of how the site scored, how it got that letter grade, and what went into it from the ground up. If I go to archive.org, for example, within DuckDuckGo, I'm shown the site has a B letter rating. Diving in, I can see that the connection is encrypted. That's great. It actually has zero trackers built into the site, which is awesome. That's what you hope for anyways. If there were any trackers on this site, the new DuckDuckGo app will automatically block those for you too. So it's doing a lot of the hard work without you needing to lift a finger. Finally, it docks archive.org a grade here. So it's not getting an A, it's getting a B due to unknown privacy practices. This is actually pulled from tosdr.org or terms of service didn't read. And that service actually tracks the history and stated privacy practices of sites. If a site is known to have stated its practices in the past, this would get a pass, let's say. Finally, once I'm done with my browsing session, I can just tap that fire button up top. And this is pretty satisfying. You see that little animation that allows me to clear all of my browsing data and start over. None of it's stored on the device. And with that, all traces are gone. DuckDuckGo has created a really nice looking and minimal, where it needs to be, private browsing app. And best of all, it's free. I love it when it works out like that. I'm Jason Howell. You can catch me with reviews like these every Tuesday on All About Android or just chatting with people making and breaking tech news each week with Megan Maroney on Tech News Weekly here on twit.tv.